Right, uh, let's get to the latest. As for us, the Franco Mulakal case is concerned. Uh, the nun who was allegedly assaulted by Franco Mulakal has approached the Kerala High Court. The nun has moved the court against trial court's order acquitting Franco Mulakal in the case. All right. For more on this, I'm joined by Vivek on the broadcast. Vivek, a big move there. The nun has now approached Kerala High Court after the trial court acquitted Franco Mulakal. That's right. Uh, the nun in this case, uh, you know, uh, has approached the Kerala High Court. It's a major development at this point of time. Remember, Franco Mulakal, the ex-bishop of Jalanda, was acquitted uh, by the Sessions Court in Kottayam, saying that, you know, there is no uh, clear evidence, direct evidence to prove uh, that he was part of this, uh, you know, whole uh, case, uh, and hence he was acquitted. Now, following that, uh, there was widespread discontentment among the police force and the investigation team. Remember, the investigation team has clearly uh, said, had established all the evidences initially, and they said that there is a solid watertight case they have. But here, uh, the Sessions Court in Kottayam said that, you know, the evidences that's been supported, uh, is, uh, provided, is not given. And also the statements given uh, by the victim uh, is, uh, you know, is, uh, uh, there are issues, especially regarding the statements that's been provided uh, by the victims. Uh, and hence, uh, you know, the, uh, there is, there is, the evidences cannot be corroborated. And hence, uh, you know, it is not a fit case uh, where his bail, where he can be given, uh, his bail can be rejected. And here, uh, he has been acquitted. And now, uh, the, the government has also approached the Kerala High Court. Remember, uh, the DGP has sought, uh, you know, the opinion of the government. And the AG, the Advocate General, has given an opinion to the DGP saying that they should go ahead with this case, file, uh, you know, uh, a petition in the Kerala High Court challenging the Sessions Court verdict, and that's what has happened out here. Uh, the nun, as well as the government, has uh, filed a separate uh, a petition in the Kerala High Court to take up this case. Remember, this happened in 2014. Uh, this particular nun in the court aim, uh, uh, in the church uh, was uh, sexually assaulted, uh, as alleged, uh, by, uh, by Franco Mulekel a uh, number of times. And uh, there, initially, she had filed the complaint with the higher-ups within the church. They did not take up the case initially, but later on, uh, when this issue came up in the media, uh, the police was forced to take up this case. Initially, he was questioned. Uh, he was uh, questioned a number of times, and there's none. Uh, was a non statement was being taken up by various agencies not just by the police but also by the crime branch and various other investigation teams had uh, you know taken up this case this was a much talked about case uh, initially uh, but later uh, in the sessions court in Kottayam, uh, uh, Franco Mulakal has managed uh, to secure a bail and he, uh, you know, his, uh, he has acquitted in this case and now the government has decided to take up this case seriously. They have approached the Kerala High Court, even the nun has approached the Kerala High Court. Uh, we need to understand within the church, uh, you know, the nun uh, was, didn't, you know, garner much support uh, in this particular case <clears throat> and hence this is a very, very important case as far as the future uh, of uh, Franco Mulakal is concerned. All right, uh, thank you so much uh, uh, for that update, Vivek.